Okay, this is filmed literally right after my previous video, if you want to check that out. I'll link it right there. <laughs> I know how to do that now, that's so- or, I'm not- I'm such- uh, anyways. Um, basically mentioned how there was gonna be like, um, surprise or like a special video that I was gonna put out in two weeks. This is two weeks right now. Um, basically, I know I have literally sh shoved this down your throat, basically of me talking about Georgia like almost every video, going to Georgia, whatever, whatever. My family and I are all surprising my cousins and my extended family that live in Georgia. So we told them we're going on the 24th, but we're going on the 14th of June. We're gonna be there 10 days earlier than they expect us. So first we're gonna take the bus to Dublin airport and then from Dublin we're going to Turkey and then Turkey to Georgia. And our layover in Turkey is one hour. Now, the last time we had a layover of one hour, we missed our second flight, and then our next layover was like 15 hours. Past These past few months have been, it's been a downfall for Dublin Airport. There's been many videos of people literally waiting outside in line for like hours. Outside. Who literally, oh my god, how does the airport not know the amount of people that are going on a trip that day? It's not like all of a sudden people are just like decided to go on a trip. It's been planned out, obviously. So, anyways, that's not the point. And also, there was like many, there was like a fight in the airport between like two people. Now is, it's Sunday. We're going on Tuesday. So tomorrow's gonna be such a busy day because remember how I told you about information session for my French grinds that I'm gonna do uh, for September. I have that at 11 in the morning, but I, there is no way I'm taking the bus. I hate the bus when it's by myself, especially. It gives me a lot of anxiety and I would rather walk into town, which is a good like 40 minutes. Then I have to walk back and then I have to walk into town again uh, to meet up with my friends. Obviously I'm gonna film the surprise. Hopefully they're not gonna be like, I wasn't expecting you today. Finished Pride and Prejudice, right? I wanna finish uh, Red, White and Royal Blue by tomorrow. I don't know if that's gonna, I don't know if that's gonna happen. I'll see you soon. Sweating like a pig. I just came back from town. I have- I didn't sleep. I- when I say I didn't sleep, I literally didn't sleep. I was trying to read red, red, white, and royal blue, like trying to finish the book. I was listening to the audiobook, that's how fast I want to get through it, but I don't know if I'll make it. I walked into town, um, it was like half nine. The reason why I'm complaining so much about like me walking home and stuff is just like, I know I have the option to take the bus, but like I get a lot of anxiety. I was walking around town this, this morning, right? A man was walking towards me, but like, he was just walking. Oh, like I just got this like major panic attack, thinking of a scenario where he would like grab onto me and like grab my phone off me. And I was like, oh, I don't know. I was just thinking the most absurd things. My interest is not just take over and like, I have a lot of things to do. I need to pack fully, like all sorts of things, but we'll get there, we'll get there. I don't know if I'll be sleeping at all because I do, I really, really want to finish Red, White, and Royal Blue. So far, I know some people are going to be mad at me, but I just, I don't get the hype. Like, I thought it was going to be more like fuzzy romance, like fuzzy, like warm, bubbly romance, but it's more political. And if I wanted a political book, I would have picked up a political book. Oh, I thought the subplot was going to be, you know, the prince of whatever and like the president president's son or whatever i thought it was gonna be like that that was gonna be like the subplot but the literal subplot is the romance itself i don't know how to feel about that and so far i'm giving it a three out of five stars you know a major spoiler that happens at the end which it just kind of ruined it for me but whatever welcome to this segment of the vlog where i teach you how to make something very hungry so we're gonna make some banana pancakes. Now this is 
the, probably like one of the easiest things you can ever make. One of the easiest things you can ever make. All you need is four ingredients. You need two bananas, sugar, doesn't matter, it could be brown, dark, white. We don't discriminate. Flour, um, it could be self-raising. If it's just normal flour, you do need um, baking powder. Like four, three to four, five, I don't know. Maybe that's more than five ingredients, but you know, at least it's not like some absurd ingredient that you won't, you know, have at home. Hopefully you do, you know, if you don't, that's okay to just like kind of improvi improvise and if you can't improvise, you know, just watch me make some banana pancakes, attempt, because sometimes it doesn't work. Basically, I'm having some technical difficulties. I don't know how to set my camera up so you can see the pan and see what I'm doing, but um, I think I'll just like show you what I'm doing and show you what the pancakes look like when they're sizzling in the pan. So, <laughs> I'm never doing that again, I'm so sorry, okay. And take a, you know, a bowl. It doesn't matter if it's small or big. You're gonna take a fork or a spoon, actually a fork. Smash the bananas into the bowl so it's like a mush, so it's mushy. Also, the more ripe it is, the better and the more sweet it will be. We're gonna take two bananas, right? Just like that. So literally like this, and just mush it up. The thing I hate about bananas is the stringy bit. Why, can you not do that, please? Like, like, why is there always gonna be like small fibers in your fruit? Like, get away from me. Oh my god, even, even like avocados. The stringy bits, what is that? Get that away from me, please. What is, like, literally, what is that? Whose hair is in my avocado? Whose hair, whose bush is in my banana? Anyways, you can hear the lovely sounds it's making. There goes the other one. Once again, I'm a literal stupid idiot. I forgot to say the eggs. Two eggs. You need two eggs. I'll link all the ingredients and how to do it in the description down below if you're if you're interested, which probably no one will be, but I'm just gonna do it anyway. I'll link a recipe down in the description box below. Look at me. Look at me saying all this YouTuber uh, phrases and vocabulary. I don't know what I'm saying. Anyways, just after you mush the bananas together like this, you crack two eggs into this, into the same bowl. Unfortunately, like me, there's only one egg in the house. We're gonna work with that. It's okay. It's okay. I'm actually a pro at cracking eggs into bowls. So I'm gonna show you. Today is your lucky day. I can't do it with one hand. Oh no. Like so. First time I ever cracked an egg with one hand. I don't know if it was a success or not. There's no shell in it. But I don't think it went that smoothly. You're gonna whisk it but I'm gonna do it with a fork because I'm quirky like that, obviously. Okay. Okay, do you know the way Americans are like, so you're gonna put a half a cup of this into this? Like, okay, a half a cup literally means half a cup. Half a cup. I didn't even know what that, until last year. Take a cup, like a plastic cup or whatever, just. Now this is a little more than a half, but it will do. Pour the uh, flour bit by bit into your uh, egg and banana mixture. Because be careful, because the flour will get everywhere. <laughs> I learned that the hard way. Pancake batter is supposed to look a bit like this, kind of like sticky and just like gooey. I only use one egg, so it does look a bit dry than usual, but that's okay. So now you're gonna bring yourself to your pan. Don't worry, it's hot. It's not, it's not hot, I'm, it's not hot and you're gonna put some oil in it. So I'll show you what to do. As if you don't know how to put oil in a pan. Maybe you don't. I won't judge. I feel like this was a way better angle. I could've done this, but anyways. You're gonna take some, it doesn't matter, sunflower oil. Don't use olive oil, please. That's disgusting. If you're using, if you're putting olive oil while making banana pancakes, I don't know what you're doing. I think you hate yourself. It's okay if you hate yourself. I do too, but. I don't hate myself that much to put olive oil in my banana pancakes. 
So you're just gonna put like one or two tablespoons. You're gonna do that. But put it on low heat, like that. So you can barely see the fire. I'm gonna let it heat up a little bit. Oh my God, I forgot the sugar. Okay, I put in like a tablespoon of sugar. I'm gonna mix it around. I know it's not gonna be like fully like mixed well. You can use a blender. I'm just lazy and I'm not gonna do that because I'm hungry. Now, what you have to do is take a tablespoon, right? Like this big. Take a, just one tablespoon and just put it right on here like that. Like that. And usually the banana pancakes burn a little too fast. So you have to be really careful. So you have to literally flip it within like 30 seconds. You, you can see the edges like burning. So you, that's a sign that you need to flip it. Um, it already looks so beautiful. Oh my God, I'm so excited. At times banana pancakes can be hard to flip. They're thinner than like the usual pancakes, but like you, if I can manage, you can manage. And there you have it. You now there are options after this. You can put syrup, honey, powdered sugar, Nutella, lemons, jam, butter. Personally, I put powdered sugar on to my pancakes. After you create this like foggy atmosphere in your kitchen because of the amount of powdered sugar, this is what mine look like. I will not be using any fork or knife. Why would you use that when you're eating pancakes? I still, I don't get it, but let's just give it a try around. Amazing. I'm gonna rate this. Nine out of 10 because I didn't have a second egg, so. However, it is a little bit wet on the inside. Well, not a little bit, it, it, very wet. Overall, very nice taste. Hey guys, I'm back again. Just can't get enough of me. Are you, are you vlogging? Yeah. Um, to to Hillbillies. Hillbillies. So Gabriella wants a wrap. So, oh, okay. Hello guys. Um, it's Mia. Ready, Gabriella? Are you ready? No, I'm gonna be so awkward. No, you really thought you just stopped. Going to hillbillies. Oh my god, guys. Oh my god, why, why is it taking so long to get there? Like, I really need it right now. <laughs> we story time YouTuber. Like, Did it you? was my childhood dream. What was your first Hannah, story? Gabby, Gabby Hannah was my inspiration. Oh my god. She I had her. My first ever video. I had out of my head and watched myself in Florida. Thought without a body, I ought to be a shot to take yeah, the load exactly. off my brain. It's funny, but I'm so was Whoa. Say, what would your, what would your oh, first story time have been? If we go out there, I don't know. I yeah. figured it out. Is that it? Yeah. Um, Emma, you wanna get in? What? <laughs> the echo. So do you wanna echo? get in? Hey guys. I'm back. Shout out to Cal. He also watches all your videos, Lisa. Oh, oh my god! Lisa. I always come to his house and he's like, did you see that Lisa posted a vlog? Lisa! Oh. Lisa, Cal watches your vlogs! Oh. Your videos! Oh. I'm jealous of you. Are we I'm Cal jealous of you. Do you know why? Because you have Gabriella. <laughs> oh, I that's want so her. No, I, I come me want. Wait, wait, me want Gabriella. <laughs> we want Gabby. Listen, every time I come to this house, he's like, "Did you watch Lisa's vlog?" And he's like, "Oh, you don't know what happened in it." Well, they went to like kill Arnie. <laughs> so, Cal, shout out to you. They keep this in the video. I will. Eating food. I keep hitting you. What did you get? What did you get? Tell us what you got. Got a wrap. I got three tenders and chips. I got um a kid's tenders and chips. Oh, yeah. Next all Meet my mate, my gun. Oh. Oh. Lisa didn't get anything. Um, it's hillbillies, by the way, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Emma's laughing at <laughs> You know what you have to do? <laughs> yeah, yeah, Emma's <laughs> laughing at this. <laughs>
Tiramisu. Hello. Tiramisu. Oh my God, a tiramisu. Look, sorry. Beautiful. Hi. So what you got? We're in the I got a tiramisu. Why am I just? Why are you doing that? My Instagram is at. Do it. Do it. Anyway. So. I mean, if you were in McDonald's, the highlight in like my only corner is not good. Who's <laughs> mine? Oh my god! Was... Bye vlog. Uh, Bye vlog. Oh my god! <laughs> I'll see nice you in Georgia. You. Oh, lucky. No. I've seen August. Oh, yeah. August or September. I'll see you. <laughs> kinda sad. I'll only see you when we start school. That's really sad. So, I thought you were saying when you see the vlog. I said to me. Bye. Emma, say bye. Bye.